You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a behind-the-scenes person at the Metro South Chamber of Commerce. I have Athena Lavoie. Welcome, Athena. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I see you running around working really hard at all these events, all the great events that the Metro South Chamber of Commerce does. Let's talk about what we have upcoming for the end of the year, mm -hmm. the beginning of the year, and we'll give you a taste of a taste mm -hmm. of Metro South early so yep. everybody knows to save the date. What's coming up in December? So in December, we have a Good Morning Metro South that mm -hmm. we'll be having at the Massasoit Conference Center. Um, it is sponsored by Cambridge Savings Bank, and we are featuring uh, Governor Baker as our speaker. So we're really excited about that, um, get everybody out for the holiday season and enjoy some networking and a great program. Well, what better way to get everybody finished with a bang than to bring the governor of the Commonwealth right to yeah. Brockton, We're excited. Metro South. Absolutely. And no better place than Massasoit Community College to do it. That's a wonderful venue to do that. Um, then we go into January and we switch off. You guys rotate the sites from time to time. Okay. We're at Shaw Center, we're at Massasoit Conference Center, and then we're going to go to Martin Institute? Yes, the Martin Institute at Stonehill. Um, the last few years we've done our Good Morning Metro South in January at Stonehill. So they've been generous enough to have us back again this year. Um, and the speaker for that particular breakfast will be Secretary Jay Ash. So um, again, it'll be a really good program. It'll be a different site. So you, you know, people will be able to come out and do some networking um, and enjoy breakfast at Stonehill. And they'll be you know, kind of serving the breakfast and um, making sure they have a really good time at that breakfast as well. Now, Housing and Economic Development, which is his secretariat, how do you like that, yeah. um, is Brockton is kind of on the forefront these days. We, we, we have a beautiful pro couple of projects that have gone in right downtown, mm -hmm. transforming and revolutionizing the downtown. And economic development, everybody needs economic development. That's what fuels the economy. Yeah, so absolutely. What better guy to talk about it than the secretary? Exactly, yeah, okay? we're excited to hear from him. So we've got two heavy hitters. We've got the governor and we have the secretary. And then we go into, every month you guys do a business after hours. Where's the January one? January Business After Hours is going to be at St. Joseph Manor. Mm -hmm. um, our Business After Hours, um, as you said, we usually have about one a month. Um, and they're 5.30 to 7.30 at night after work. Um, they are, for the most part, complimentary events. This one at St. Joseph Manor is complimentary, so there's no fee to attend. Um, there's always great food and beverages, and it's more casual events. So it's a way to come and meet people. Maybe if you're a new member of the chamber or you're thinking about becoming a member of the chamber, it's a great way to try it out and kind of see what those events are all about. And I noticed that you guys don't just do the businesses per se, the for-profit businesses. You go to the non-profit. St. Joe's is yeah. a non-profit business. Mm -hmm. um, the sisters used to own it. I think it's Covenant Healthcare now, if I'm not mistaken. I used to be on the board over okay. there. That's why I know. <laughs> and I go buy it every day when I teach at Massasoit. Yeah. So there you go. That's January and February, okay? Give us a taste, no pun intended, yeah. for the Taste of Metro South. That's the big signature event. You guys do the two big events are the annual meeting, which is huge. Yep. The Taste of Metro South and then Athena Rewards and Small Business Awards yeah. and all that. I've been, I've been doing spring. chamber stuff for 22 years, so <laughs> it, it takes me, but, but the taste <laughs> is like, it's stunning. I mean, it, it's like a, a smorgasbord of everything I'm not supposed to eat. Yeah, but, but that's do. okay, because it's just a taste of it. Right, You're not in, right. indulging too much. Um, yeah, so, so this is my second year with the Chamber, and it'll be my second taste of Metro South. I'm really excited. Um, having been through it once, I'm really excited to get some of the same restaurants back that have done it before and done a really great job. And we'll be looking for some new restaurants to participate as well um, in Brockton and in the surrounding area. So just want to kind of put it out uh, as a save the date that the Taste of Metro South will be at the Shaw Center again this year, mm -hmm. and it will be uh, Wednesday, March 23rd. So for those of you that are looking to attend that have been in you know past years, you can always go to the chamber um, to purchase tickets or contact us to, to do that. But also the restaurants, um, again, if you're especially a restaurant that hasn't participated, definitely get in contact with us, reach out, and it's a great way to promote your restaurant or business. And there are some new restaurants. I just noticed, I don't know the name of it, maybe you do, mm. uh, the old Maple Alleys in Brockton, Bowling Alley just became a restaurant on the east side. Oh, yeah. I just read about that in the paper. Um, okay. And it, I think it's, uh, it might be Cape Verdean. I'm hoping I'm right, okay? But some of the some of the ethnic restaurants, some of the different foods, I, I kind of get tired of meat and potatoes after a while. I'd rather yeah. experience something new. And over there, I know Luanda's participated in the past, at JJ's Cafe. Yeah, JJ's always does. Um, you know, Paradise we, Caribbean restaurant we, last year. We've lost a few 
old establishment restaurants, but we've gained a few. There's talk of new restaurants downtown. We're all crossing our fingers for that because we all have to drive right. in order to go any place. And Paradise is downtown yep. right there. And yeah. I, I've heard of it. Any, any, everyone's told me about it. I haven't sampled it yet. Maybe I'll sample it before, maybe at the taste. There's a Jamaican restaurant that just opened up on Tory Street. It's been there maybe close okay. to a year, maybe six, nine months, something like that. I keep hearing wonderful reviews about it. I just haven't ventured in there yet. I haven't either, so we'd love to have them so we can all... Okay, yeah. now, if people want to come on and participate, what's the best way? Are they, is, it, is it you who they talk? me directly. Absolutely. Call the chamber. It's 508-580-580. Uh, it's Zero five zero zero, and you can ask for Athena, and I'd be happy to tell you all about it. Um, there's no cost for restaurants to participate, um, so we want to, you know, get them involved, and, and I can t tell them how to do that, and that way everyone can taste their food. Okay, so the best place to find out about all the stuff that Metro South is doing is your website. Absolutely. Correct. Tell yep. us the website. So it's Metro South Chamber. Dot com. Um, we're constantly updating our events calendar, so everything from some of the bigger events that we just mentioned to some smaller events like ribbon cuttings. We have one coming up um, December 3rd that will be at Central Rock Gym in Randolph, a brand new member, a brand new rock climbing gym. Um, so there are things that we're adding every day, so definitely encourage you to go on, take a look. You can also register for events through the site, so it's a nice easy way to um, get involved and get registered. Now, besides registering individually, you guys have like a season pass. If somebody yeah. at the beginning of the season wants to be part of it, they right. can do that. Yeah, absolutely. So that includes all the breakfast events, all the after hours events, um, and some of the awards, as well as the Metro South Taste. And I think you can even pay your dues online, too. I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you get that. Um, talk a little bit about the chamber. Mike gave me the three minute cue, the two, I have two minutes, okay. okay. How many people are over there? We, everybody knows Chris Cooney. Yeah, of uh, course. But you have wonderful colleagues that you work with. Yeah, I do. Um, so we have uh, Allison Van Dam is there. She's the Vice President of Business Development, um, and she helps us to put together a lot of really great programs. Some of the other things that you know maybe I haven't mentioned, but we do as far as um, different legislative mm -hmm. items and um, government affairs luncheons usually every month. So she really does a great job helping to put that together and making sure that the chamber is involved and um, we keep our members involved. Um, as well as a lot of other things that she does too. Um, and then Melanie McGrath is our communications director. So when you see uh, the e update go out, when you see the action report newsletter and the enterprise, that's, that's all her. She does a really great job in you know, making sure that we have some good photos and coverage and um, highlighting our members too. So as a new member, you get a new member profile in that newsletter. She makes sure that we do that and make sure everyone gets the benefit of membership. And if you drop your card in at the Good Morning Metro South and some of the other events, you, you win some prizes like that. Like yes, the you can win that as a prize like that. So, every one of our breakfasts, we give that away. I'll tell you, I've dealt with chambers for years. I've dealt with this one for quite a while, and you guys do really good work. You get nice Thank folks you. over there that are fun to work with, okay, and you offer good things, and then you get the booklet, which lists everybody. There's the advertising business. opportunities. So, plus, you also help promote other organizations in your calendar. Mm -hmm. It's not just your events. Right. You're kind of one of the central calendars in Brockton, in my opinion. That's where I find well, out a lot good. of stuff. Well, that's good. We like so to hear that. I just want to tell you that. Well, okay? thank you. Appreciate so that. Keep up the good work and uh, make sure that you get all your information about the Metro South Chamber at metrosouthchamber.com. Um, all the information is on there for every event that they do coming up. You can register for those events and you can get involved and stay involved. And I know that your board of directors are all volunteers that volunteer their time. You just had your annual meeting, so you're all set to go for another year. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Great event. Athena, thank you for coming on. Thank you on. so much for having and, me. And uh, we're always that. glad to be there. Thank you. Okay. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lanier, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.